Hey guys, today we are going to be going over the Family Management Cheats mod. This is a great mod, it is by Electron. I'm going to be linking the mod information in the description below where you can download it, the instructions page, and any other things you guys need to know. There are some amazing cheat codes in this mod and I'm going to be going over each and every one of them so you guys will get to see it. Some of these have been a lifesaver and I use them all the time. So I'm really excited to show you guys all this. Plus there's a bunch of extra stuff too, depending on your gameplay it might be really useful for you as well. So first I'm just gonna go over on the instructions page, the description. So on the page it says, welcome to the family management cheats mod for The Sims 4. This is a mod that comes with many cheats that will help you set up your Sims and their families without limitations and more realistically. For example, in real life, adults usually begin their life with a university diploma and some skills, but you can't set this yourself in the game. With the cheats I have added, you will be able to do stuff like that and much more. The initial reason I made this mod was to connect my pets to the family trees of their owners. For example, parent-child relationships. Because in real life, pets are considered family members, and they should appear in the family tree. So I have added a cheat that lets you create family relationships, and it includes being able to literally adopt pets in order to connect them to your family trees and see them there. And then I just decided to add more stuff. This mod also enables you to recognize all family members throughout the family tree in the relationship panel, up to a certain depth level. You can finally have your huge family trees recognized by each member of the family. Another one of my favorites, and this is my favorite too, that I've added to this is the Select Cheat, which is a cheat that lets you directly switch the control to any existing sim without having to go to the world management screen and trying to find which lot it is that they are living on. For these and many more useful cheats and details on how to use them, keep reading. I have added more than 50 of them. Hope you enjoy. And then it says additional notes before we begin. All of these cheats require you to input them during live mode or build and buy mode, so the world should be loaded. For any of these cheats, if a sim has multiple first names or last names, write the specific group of names in quotes. If they don't have a surname, write empty quotes instead. You can also type fam help as a cheat to see the instructions in game, but I recommend referring to this page instead. It is easier to look at. I'm going to pin a comment with all the cheats that I go over and at what point in the video I talk about them. So that way you can reference anything you need to. And if you needed to come back and reference something, then you can just click on that and it'll take you straight to that point in the video where I talk about that cheat because it is a pretty long list. And I don't want you guys to have to go and scan through the entire video just to see one specific cheat. So just check the pinned comment below and I'll make sure to do that for you guys. So this mod is only available for people who use PC and Mac. If you don't know how to download mods, I will link a video tutorial for you guys in the description below. So since there are 50 plus cheats, this might take a little bit of time, but I'll try to go through it as quickly as possible while still being as informative as possible. So as you can see, we have a castle in front of us. That is because if you don't know, I have a royal family series on my channel and that's kind of the main thing on my channel. I do some mod reviews and stuff too and some Creed Sim challenges, but I mostly have my Royal Family Let's Play series. So if you are interested in that, I will link the playlist to those in the description below. If you are interested, I recommend first watching my season one recap video because I have two seasons. As of now, I have the first season with a hundred episodes and I have my second season. Currently I'm midway through the second season. So I would just recommend watching the season one recap video if you want to see what it's about. But yeah, I'll leave those links in the description below. But I am using my Royal Family save file because there's a lot of things that I think this mod will be useful for. So right now, this is my Royal Family of Brindleton Bay. They're useful for the first cheat that I'm going to show you because they do have a pet and I want to add the pet to the family tree. So the first cheat is adding the relationship. So I'll show you guys how to do that. So basically this will add a new family relationship between two specified Sims. Sim 1 will become the specified new relationship of Sim 2. The new relationships that you can do are parent, child, sibling, grandparent, grandchild, fiance, spouse, partner for boyfriend and girlfriend, ex-spouse, and dead spouse. This is actually great. So a lot of these cheats you will find if you have heard of MC Command Center, that is a mod for The Sims 4. It's a very popular one, but a lot of these cheats can do some things that MC Command Center cannot do. And also I know some people think MC Command Center is a little bit confusing with how to get to where you need to. So this is very straightforward. It'll tell you what cheats you need to add in for this. So it's really just a preference thing, whatever works for you, but I'll just go through it so you guys can see what you like. So we're going to put this cheat in. So we have our pet here, this is, Oreo, it's a 
very common name for a pet, but that's what we went with. This is my King, King Johan, and this is Queen Sadira. So I'm going to add Oreo. Technically it is their daughter, Molly Grace's cat. And her name is actually Molly Grace, but we're gonna use the rename cheat to make her name longer. So I'll show you guys that in a bit too. No, I'm still going to, I mean like her parents still were the ones, like they're the main people who take care of the cat. So maybe we should just have them be the parent. So we're going to start with Queen Sadira. So first things first, you need to open the cheat bar, which is control shift C on your keyboard. And then I would make sure testing cheats on is on. You gotta make sure your cheats are on. So this cheat you need to type in fam. Sim 1's first name and Sim 1's last name. So because I have their titles in their name, you actually need to put quotes for anyone who has more than one word in their name. So I will put Queen Sidira and then end quote. And then her last name is only one word, so I don't need to put quote, so it's Brindleton. And it also doesn't matter if things are uppercase or lowercase, by the way. So that's hers. And then I need to put Sim 2 first name and Sim 2's last name. So that is just Oreo Brindleton, and then the new relationship. So since Sim 1 will become the specified new relationship for Sim 2, she would become the parent. So we're going to put parent and enter. All right, cool, success. New family relationship was set. Queen Sidira Brindleton is now the parent of Oreo Brindleton. So then you will go to your family tree. And this is also why I think that my royal family is good for this cheat because I have a huge royal family tree. I have a royal family tree video if you're interested in seeing like the whole thing, but like it's even bigger than this. So now Oreo, so it says it's Sidira's daughter. So, I mean, I think that's cool. It's nice to have your pets on here. And then I also need to add Johan as the parent. With these cheat codes, it's definitely like you need to look at the page when you're doing them at first. But I mean, like I was just able to do that from memory. So they get pretty easy to figure out on your own. So yeah, now Oreo has been added to the family tree. So that's really cool. And yeah, also, cause with MC Command Center, you can't have, like you can't add a fiance and especially like ex-spouse and dead spouse too. Like you have to go through certain things to do that in MC Command Center. So this is just good to have for that. So yeah, you can do that with any other relationship that you want to. I'll just show you that one for now because I'm sure that a lot of you guys might wanna add your pets to the family tree. There's also a cheat if you want to clear any relationships. So just for this one, you have to be careful because it will clear all the relationships unless you specify which ones you do not want cleared. So you go fam clear and then let's just clear the cats. So Oreo Brindleton and then press enter. Okay, so it's a success. All family relationships of Oreo Brindleton were cleared so he's not on the family tree anymore you can also modify the relationships between specific sims so for example if i wanted to have her and her daughter's relationship all the way up so i would go to the cheat bar so you type in rel r-e-l sims first name so we got queen sadira brindleton and then the sims 2 first name and sims 2 last name so it would be her daughter princess molly it's actually molly grace but we'll change that later brindleton relationship type so relationship type you either type in friend or romance. So we'll do friend and then value. So I would set that to 100, enter, success. Okay, cool. So now they are best friends. The relationship bar has been set. So yeah, you can do that with any sim. If you wanted to set romance, you would just type in romance instead of friend. And then you can also remove the relationship between two specific sims. So let me find a sim. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. So we'll just do this one. So his name is Carter Montgomery. So I'm gonna remove her relationship with him. I think he might've been the butler, but like one of the old butlers. So you do rel remove sim one first name. So Queen Sadira Brindleton and then Carter Montgomery. Okay, and then enter. Success, okay, he's not there anymore. Their relationship was removed, so cool. The next cheat is for their birthday. So this will make a specific sim immediately have their birthday in order to age up. So Queen Sadira, she's actually a young adult right now. She's supposed to be an adult. So we're gonna make it her birthday. So you just type in B day and then first name and last name. So Queen Sadira Brindleton. Okay, Queen Sadira will now have their birthday and age up. So yeah. So so she gets this little thing and it says age up. So it will just automatically age her up. And there you go. She's now an adult. Awesome. Well, that's really easy. Okay, cool. And then there's also an age up cheat. So this one will make the specified sim age up. The optional age days amount can be specified to age up as days only. Input zero as the amount of days to fill current age phase without aging up. So that's if you wanted to make it like close to her birthday, but not quite her birthday yet. So for example, so yeah, let's do that. So it would be age up and then queen 
Queen, Sadira, Brindleton, and then you input the amount of days. So let's just do two. Okay, Queen Sadira has aged up two days. So she is an adult still. So yeah, it just moved her up two days. And then there's also an age down option. So this will make a specified sim age down. The optional days amounts can be specified to age down as days only. Input zero as the amount of days to reset current age phase without aging down. So then I say age down, Queen Sadira Brindle. 10, then I, since I aged her up two, then I'll age her down two, so two, enter. Okay, cool, so then it ages her back to zero, so that's really useful. Next one is the rename cheat. This one is great. So this cheat is really useful for me because in my royal family series, I like to have their titles before their name, and I wanna be able to have some long names too, just because some longer names are a little bit more elegant in my opinion. So I wanna turn Frederick, and I wanna name him Prince Frederick, and this also lets you have an unlimited number to name them, however, if you go go into create a sim, you still have to, I don't know what the limit is, I think it's 14 characters for the names. You still have to bring it back down to 14 characters if you go into create a sim, and then you have to rename them again in live mode. There's also a rename option that comes with MC Command Center, but you have to do the same thing. Even if you like upload it to the gallery too, it still has to be the limit that EA gives you. So that's just the downside of pretty much all the rename mods, but this is still really useful for me. So I put rename, and then so you put in the first and last name of the sim that you want to rename, so it's Frederick Brindleton. And then name type can either be name, which is the first name, or surname, which is their last name. And then for the optional capitalization, type caps for standard capitalization and no caps for no capitalization. If omitted, it will default to standard capitalization, which is what we want, which is like the first letter being capitalized. So I have to type in name, and then I have to type in in quotes because it's two words, Prince Frederick, and then end quote. And then since I want it to be standard capitalization, I type in caps. So now it's Prince Frederick Brindleton. I'm gonna do the same thing with Molly Grace rename quote princess molly is her name right now and then brindleton and it's her first name so i do name and then what i want her name to be which is princess molly grace Oh, okay, I did end quote. I didn't even have to type in caps at the end and it changed it. I accidentally pressed enter too soon, but it worked. So yeah, that one I'm going to use all the time. It is so useful for me. If you have a royal family save file, I'm sure it'll be very useful for you too. So the next few cheats are really useful too. So this one will let you add sims to your household, remove sims to your household, and reset sims too. So let's just say we want to add Queen Sadira. She has a sister named Ezra. So let's just add her to the family. So I'm gonna go to the cheese bar, say add sim. So for this one, there's a Sim 1 and Sim 2. So this will add the first specified Sim to the household of the second specified Sim without going to world management. We want to add her sister, which is Lady Ezra. So she's supposed to be added here. So she's gonna be Sim number one. So Lady Ezra, end quote, her last name is Windenburg. And then we are going to put Sim 2 name, which is Queen Sadira. So Queen Sadira Brindleton and she should just appear here. Success, there she is, that's awesome. There's also a remove sim option. However, I don't know if that removes them, like where they go, if they're not in the world afterward or something like that. But if we do want to remove her, I say remove sim, sim first name and last name. So it's just Lady Ezra Windenburg. I don't know where she goes though, but she's gone. I'm just gonna add her back to the household so she's just not floating somewhere. I don't know where. Okay, I added her back. I guess I could have also, like if I know names of the people in her household, then I could just add her back there and she would go there. Let me find her son. Her son is Lord Winston. So if I wanted to add her back there, then I would just go add Sim and then Lady Ezra Windenburg. Then her son's name or her husband's name. Let's do her husband. Is Lord Jaden Windenburg. Okay, cool. Oh, awesome. All right. So I could just move her there without having to go to manage worlds. It wasn't even my household. So she's back with her husband and child now. So that's really useful too. And you don't even have to go to manage worlds. Okay. Then next one is just reset sim. So it will just reset the specified sim to the default state. Okay, so let's just, we'll reset her son, Prince Frederick. So reset sim, Prince 
Frederick Brindleton, enter. And cool, yeah, so he just resets, he stops. So that's like if your sim is stuck or something like that, or you just, I don't know, the game's lagging something and you need to reset them, you can just use that sheet and that's really useful. Next one is favorite sim. So this will favorite the household of the specified sim without going to world management. So for example, I don't know, if you see a random townie that you like, you wanna add them to your favorited household. I'm trying to think if there's someone that I can just teleport here, or I don't even have to do that. I can just find, okay, he knows he knows Carter Montgomery too. So I'm gonna make Carter Montgomery a favorited household. So we'll do fave sim. Carter Montgomery. All right, success. The household of Carter Montgomery was favorited. I'll probably unfavor that later. It's oh yeah, unfave sim. That's the next cheat. All right, so unfave sim. Carter Montgomery. There you go. Now he's unfavorited. Cool. All right, so this next cheat is my favorite one in this entire mod. It is the select cheat, which lets you go to any household you want without having to go into manage worlds. It's very useful. It's a huge time saver. So we're going to go to my Willow Creek Royal family. All right, so I'm going to go to select and then we're going to do King Louie and quote Willow. All right, so now we're going to our Willow Creek Royal family. All right, so we're now here at the Royal family of Willow Creek. So yeah, it just brought me here. I didn't have to go to manage worlds. Again, a huge time saver. I love it. That's my favorite cheat of this mod, I think. This next cheat is to summon Sim. So this will summon any specified Sim to the current zone. So let's just, uh, I guess we'll bring one of our other Royal families here. So let's do summon and then Sim's first name and Sim last name. I'm going to do, I don't know, one of my random monarchs. Um, King Cayman and Salvadorada. Okay. King Cayman Salvadorada was summoned to the current zone. So there he is. He is here. So yeah, that just brings any sim you want to you, which is great. I find that very useful, especially when I'm like trying to film something for one of my videos and I'm trying to get a sim there and I can't get them there. So I'm sure you guys will find this one very useful too. Oh, okay. He just disappeared. So I guess when they first appear, you have to talk to them and say like, ask them to hang out or something like that to get them to stay, but it will at least summon the sim there. Next is you can visit other sim so this will send the first specified sim to the present zone of the second specified sim without going into world management so that's also really nice so let's go do that let's do visit i'm gonna go to my royal family of windenburg so we are bringing king louis willow and then sim 2's first and last name so we will do queen amira windenburg enter all right, now we're going to go to our royal family of Wittenberg, so that's easy too. We don't have to go into Manage Worlds. And it will bring you, not to their house, but to wherever that sim is that you typed for sim two. So if the sim two happens to be at like a coffee shop or something, it's gonna bring you to the coffee shop. All right, so it brought us here to the Wittenberg Palace, so I just, have him knock on the door. And then the next sheet is to go home. So it's gonna send us back home. So we will have to go through another loading screen for that, but that is fine. So go home and then just King Lou oh, Louis Willow. All right, now we're going home. All right, so now we're back at the Willow Creek Palace. So that was a fun little trip. All right, so this next one, I came to the Willow Creek Royal Family because it is an occult cheat. And in my series at some point, I had Queen Corinne become a spellcaster for a reason. You wanna know why? You can watch the series but I've been meaning to have her not be a spellcaster for a really long time, and I just couldn't figure out how to do it. So this is going to let me do that. The occult you can do is so you can humanize someone, you can turn someone into a ghost, a non-ghost, an alien, vampire, mermaid, witch, or wizard, plant sim, non-plant sim, skeleton, non-skeleton, servo or non-servo. I don't know what a servo is and I don't know what making it a skeleton. Is it a skeleton the thing that comes with the jungle adventure pack? Can you be turned into a skeleton? I did not know that. It says, note that using this cheat can permanently adjust genetics and chosen clothes. If changing to ghosts, death type can also be specified. If omitted, it will default to old age. Death type will be automatically matched with an available death type. So like if you don't have a certain pack or something with the death type in there, then it probably wouldn't work for that. All right, so I wanna turn Corinne into a human. I don't want her to be a spellcaster anymore. So the cheat is a cult and then 
Queen Corinne Willow. New occult type, which is just human. All right, success. Occult state of Queen Corinne is now human. Yeah, I've been trying to figure out how to do that for a long time and I couldn't. I, I know you can just go into the world and ask not to be a spellcaster anymore, but I never felt like doing that. So this is much easier. So for this cheat, it is to get your sim pregnant. I teleported Queen Corinne's sister, Lady Marjorie here. This says, this will get the first specified sim impregnated by the second specified sim. If no offspring count is specified, it will be realistically randomized. Gender options are not considered. Any sim can get pregnant. So let's do preg and then Lady Marjorie Sulani. And then second sim is Leah Sulani and then one. Okay, so she's now pregnant with one child. And then you can also do a cheat called pref and this will set the target gender preference to the specified sim to the new value. So you can change the preference of if you want a male or female baby. So let's do pref Lady Marjorie Sulani, and we're going to do female. Well, so I'll set it to, well, let's set it to 90. Okay, and then you can also do pregnancy state. So this will adjust or check the pregnancy state of the specified sim. The state can be check for checking pregnancy status and end for completing pregnancy, clear for removing pregnancy, or count for changing the offspring count. If omitted, it will default to checking. All right, so now I can check the status. So I say preg state and then Lady Marjorie Sulani, enter. Result, Lady Marjorie is pregnant with one child. Oh, so you can't check if it's a male or female, interesting. But you can check the preference. So if you wanted 100% for it to be a male or female, then you would just set that to 100 with either male or female. Next is fill need. So you can fill the need of your Sims. So this will fill all needs of the specific specified sim. Do not specify any sim in order to fill the needs of the entire active household. So if I just wanted to say fill, I could just type in fill needs and that will fill the needs of the entire household. Yeah, everyone is filled now. But if I just wanted to do like a specific sim, her needs are already full, but I would say fill needs and then Lady Marjorie Sulani. So then it would just fill her needs. Next sheet is called list. So it says this will list all available instance names with the specified instance type. You can use words from these as keywords for related sheets. Instance type can be traits, jobs, majors, skills, values, and death. So it looks like this cheat is useful for the next cheats that I'm about to go over, which is adding a trait and removing a trait. So if I wanna do list traits, so it will just tell me what each trait is called. This is all the available traits that we can have for her. So what does she have right now? Let's say I wanted to remove something. Let's say I wanna remove creative. So then I would say remove trait, and then Sim's first name and last name. So this is, her name's Princess Genevieve, but obviously it says Princess Jen right now. So I could use the rename cheat on her, but I'll do that later. So Princess Jen Willow Creative. All right, so now her creative trait has been removed, but then I can add it back. So add trait Princess Jen Willow Creative, enter. So now it's back. So yeah, you can add or remove traits without going into create a sim. So that's really useful. All right, so the next one is to add and remove a job. So I actually don't have Lady Marjorie in a job right now. Okay, so let's just do, I don't know, I'll do military. So we would say add job and then the sim name. So Lady Marjorie Sulani military. All right, so success. She is in the military career and then you can promote them to and demote them. So let's just say we wanted to promote her. So we do promote Lady Marjorie Sulani military. Harry. Okay, she was just promoted in her military career and there's also demote, so it's the same things. So just demote first name, last name, and then current careers. Lady Marjorie Sulani Military. And then she has been demoted. All right, so now we have a remove job option. So for this one, it's just remove job, sim first name, sim last name, current career name. So remove job, Lady Marjorie Sulani Military. And she has successfully quit her job. Then there's one that comes for university. So it's the add uni cheat. This will add a diploma of the specified major to the specified sim. Major name will be automatically matched within available majors. So again, you would just go to list majors if you wanted to see the list of majors. So let's have her major in language and literature. So I would need to type in language 
language and literature degree, BA. The cheat is add a uni, sim first name, sim last name, new diploma major name, and you can do optional honors and optional university name. So it would be U Bright for University of Brightchester and Foxbury for Foxbury Institute. So let's do add uni. So Lady Marjorie Sulani, language and literature degree BA. Oh gosh, I'm so sorry. This is a lot of me typing, isn't it? And then I want her to do honors and university name U Bright. Enter. So now she has a diploma. She graduated with honors from the University of Brightchester. So also a way where you can remove their diploma. So it is remove uni, Lady Marjorie, Sulani, language and literature degree BA. So it says success, her diploma has been removed. So next is setting skill levels, which is always useful to have. So I wanna set Princess Genevieve's skill level in writing. So we're going to do its set skill, sim first name, sim last name, skill name, and new skill level. So I typed in set skill, Princess Jen, Willow, writing six. Cause I want her to be writing level of six. So success, she's now writing level at six. You can also remove skills too. So let's see, is there one I wanna remove? Let me just remove, I don't know, video gaming skill. So it's remove skill, first name, last name, current skill name. Okay. Remove skill, Princess Jen, Willow, video gaming. Success, so video gaming, I had to make one word. So if it's two words or more than two words, you have to make it one word. The next one is to satisfy aspiration points. So for this one, it's just satisfy, sim first name, sim last name, points amount. Satisfy, Princess Jen, Willow, points amount, I don't know, we'll do 50. All right, so she has now gotten 50 aspiration points. The next cheat is just a shorter version of mother load. So mother load is when you can add 50,000 simoleons to the funds of the active household, but all you have to type in is M load and you now have 50,000 points. So that's just a little bit shorter of a cheat. So that one's really useful. You can also do funds where it will just add 100,000 simoleons to the funds of the active household. So that's all you have to type in is just funds and you get 100,000 simoleons. There's also lots of funds which will add 50,000 simoleons to the active household. So it is just lots a funds and enter. And now we have 500,000 simoleons added to the household. And then you can also set funds. So for set funds, you just type in set funds. Sim's first name, sim last name, and funds amount. So that will set the funds of the household of the specific sim to the given exact amount. So we type in set funds, princess, Jen, Willow, and let's just do 1,500,000. There you go. So then that just sets the funds for you. You can also show funds. So this will show funds of the household of a specified sim, a household that you are not currently active in. So let's do our Windberg Royal family, I guess. Yeah, so you just type in show funds, Sim's first name, Sim last name. So show funds, Queen Amira Windenburg. So it says result, the funds of the household of Queen Amira of Windenburg is 4,899,085 simoleons. Dang, they're rich. The next one will turn on cast full edit mode and you can do this regularly with cheats too, but this is a shorter cheat. All you have to type in is cast full on. Enter, success, cast full edit mode is on, and then cast full off to turn it off. So that one's pretty simple as well. There's also a way to turn on testing cheats on or off, and it's easier too, it's shorter, so it's just T cheats on, enter. So testing cheats are on, and then T cheats off, to turn them off, but we do need them on. So T cheats on. So for this next cheat, I wanted to show you guys, I moved to my royal family of Glimmerbrook. So this is my Prince Consort Han, Empress Araminta, and her brother Takashi. Her mom should be here somewhere. I think I had to move her to one of the houses because I was like messing around with some of the households for pictures and stuff. I'll move her back in later. I won't worry about that right now, but I chose one of the smaller families for this. So basically what this next cheat will do is establish anyone who is a family member. It will just have the icon as family for their relationships. So the cheat is just fam fix rel. And there is a limit on this cheat, but with the bigger families, it would just take a really long time to load. So you would probably be sitting there for a few minutes. Okay, but now you can see that it gives anyone that they have a relationship with, like a brother, aunt, or uncle, or anything like that. You guys can see, I can't move my mouse, but it says family under relationships. So it would establish anybody who is a 
family member. And then same thing with Prince Han, his sister. It says family under her relationships. Same thing with like his nephew, his sister's son. It says family under his too. So yeah, this will just establish everyone who's family. So that's just cool to have. And it's like all for extended family too. There's also a few other cheats you can do. So things that come with the game, but just a shortened version of it. So I can turn on cheats in build mode. So like, or I don't even have to go into build mode for this. So this one is for move objects to be on or off. So it's just move obj on and it automatically turns it on. I can also do debug by typing in debug obj. So it says success, all hidden and live edit. Debug objects are enabled. And then you can also do free build. So that allows you to build on any lot. So just free build. So yeah, if I go into build mode here, move objects should be turned on, which it is. It looks like it works. And then if I go into our objects, I can check if debug has been turned on. So let's type in debug, we gotta search and yeah, all right, so debug has been turned on. So now all hidden and live edit objects, they all show up here. So that's pretty simple, actually. It's shorter too than the cheats that come with the game. Some other ones is that I can change the season. So all you have to do for that is just type in season and then new season. And for like fall, you can do autumn or fall, or then you can just do next season. So let's do fall. So season fall. So successfully it's changed to fall. And then I can just do season next and that'll automatically change it to the next season, which is winter. Um, but I do actually want it to be back to summer. So let's just do season summer. Next, we're going to go back to the Brindleton Bay Royal family because I forgot to show you guys this one cheat while we were there. So let's see Brindleton. Okay, so for this one, you can select pets and it says this will turn on off selectable pets. So that just means that you're able to play as your pet, which I know there is a mod for that specifically, but I think this cheat, I know someone who has a lot of mods mods in her game and she says she was able to get rid of like three different mods because of this cheat. So that was really helpful for her. Okay, so we're now back at our Brindleton Bay Royal family. So this is the last cheat to show you guys. So it is select pets on and off. So it's just gonna be select pets on. Success, selectable pets are on. So that means I can play from the view of the pet, which is amazing. I think this one is really exciting too. Well, I just realized how like close the cat is. That just seems like he's staring into my soul. And you can also turn it off by saying select pets off and then that just turns it off. So it's really simple. But yeah, guys, that is all of the cheats. We did have a long list of cheats. We got through, I think we got through all of them. So I hope this video was helpful for you. Let me know what your favorite cheat is from this mod and what you think you'll be using the most. Again, I have all the information you need to know in the video description below. You can reach out to Electron on their Tumblr page. If you have any questions about the mod, hit that like button if this video was helpful and if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on your notifications and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.